If I could give you one tip, just one that will help you become an expert in any topic, pass your certification exams, and possibly even land your dream job, this would be it. Before we dive into that though, let me tell you a story about how Cert Bros started. And I promise this is key. Many years ago, I was studying for an exam called the Cisco CCNT. For those of you who haven't heard of the CCNT, it was an exam you could take before earning your full CCNA. So it was kind of the halfway mark. It was great because you didn't need to learn everything all at once and you earn a certification to keep you motivated and to put on your CV. Unfortunately, Cisco did decide to remove the CCNT and now your only option is to get the full CCNA. But that is not the point of this story. So while I was studying for my CCNT, I remember watching some training and I think it was Jeremy Chara who said something along the lines of, if you want to fully understand something, you need to explain it to someone or something along that anyway. So that is exactly what I did. I started writing my notes and putting them into a blog. Now I thought this would help my studies and may even help one or two others as well. The beauty of doing this is it forces you to understand a topic fully before being able to write it down in a simple, easy to understand blog post. Put it this way, have you ever thought that you understood something, but when you came to explain it to someone, they started to ask questions, and then you realized you didn't know it quite as well as you thought? I can't tell you how many times I thought I had a topic nailed, and when I came to write about it, I actually found myself learning much, much more than I would have if I didn't sit down and write it in my own words. I called that blog Coplex IT Learning. And as you can see, it definitely has some Cert Bros elements to it. After blogging for a bit, I also added a YouTube channel to create some tutorials as well. That YouTube channel became the channel you're watching today. You can even go back and watch those early videos. And trust me, they are worse than you can imagine. That blog and this YouTube channel has helped me in ways that I had never thought possible. This has genuinely changed my life. And this is the tip I have for you. Whether you're starting out, looking to upskill, or transitioning into a new field, starting a blog could be a game changer for you. The benefits are endless. It forces you to learn topics thoroughly by thinking about all of the different aspects and questions that a reader might have. It will also set you apart from everyone else. Now, I'm not a hiring manager, but I have seen tons of CVs and applications. And to be honest, most are the same standard CVs that we're all taught to do. And when up against hundreds or even thousands of other applicants, you can easily get forgotten unless you do something to make yourself stand out. Having a great blog gives you an edge. Not only will it show your technical skills, but it will show your passion and your willingness to go the extra mile. So having a blog will help you with your studies and make you more desirable to employers. Win-win. The best news is you can start a blog for free. Or if you want a nice professional looking blog, which I definitely recommend, it won't cost any more than a few dollars. It doesn't even take that long to do and anyone can do it. There's no coding required. Let me show you exactly how to get started in just a few minutes. So we're gonna need a couple of things to get started. First, somewhere to host your website. Second, a name or domain name for your website. Luckily, most web hosting providers will provide you with both of these. Let's start with hosting. There are so many different web hosting options and it can be daunting. The good news is the team at Hostinger has partnered with Serpros to provide you with web hosting at a fraction of the cost. Perfect for starting your tech blog without breaking the bank. To get started, browse to hostinger.com forward slash Serpros10 or use the link in the description. You will then see this page offering you the hosting deal. You can also see how well rated these guys are on Trustpilot, Google and WP Beginner. Clicking claim deal will take you down to the plans. A couple of options here, but the one you'll probably most likely want is this premium web hosting. It comes with up to 100 different websites. So that's great if you have some other projects. 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, unlimited bandwidth, a free domain, and even free professional looking emails. Click add to cart. And now you can choose your hosting period. To save the most money, select 48 months for just £2.59, which is less than the cost of a coffee per month. To save even more money, make sure you scroll down 
and click the coupon button and type in Soot Bros 10. Apply that for even more discount. Then pop in your card details and submit the payment. Once you have purchased the hosting, you'll be taken to your admin dashboard where we will set up your website. The first thing you probably want to do is claim your domain. So you click claim domain and here is where you're going to choose the name for your website. Now for a personal blog, you could try first name, then last name. But if that's already taken, you can mess around with some of the extensions. There's loads in this list or you can shorten or lengthen the name. The other option is to do what I did and go for a completely different name like Coplex IT Learning or Surpros.com. Once you have your domain, we can come over to the premium web hosting. All we need to do is click the setup button, then click start now and Hostinger will ask you some questions to guide you through the setup. But for us, we're going to click the skip button at the bottom. Now this is going to be a brand new website. So we're going to select the create new website, hit select button, and then it's going to give us two options. We can either have WordPress or a personalized website built with AI. For this task, I recommend you go with WordPress. Now WordPress is the world's most popular content management system, perfect for blogs and websites just like this one. So select WordPress. And then it's going to ask us to input a password to log into our WordPress account. Now either make one up or better yet, generate a secure one and store it in a password manager. Then click continue. Now it's asking us if we want to install any plugins. Plugins add extra functionality to our websites. We'll skip this for now, but I'll show you how to do this later on. Now comes the important part. We need to choose the theme for our website. So this is how our website will look. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few different options. All you need to do is find one that you like the look of. I'm going to choose the slick blog because it looks pretty simple and it's designed for blogs. So I'll press select. And then it's going to ask if we want to automate any content creation using AI. But we'll just go ahead and skip this. Now we just need to choose that domain name. So if you already created that domain name, you can select it from here, like I have already. Or if you missed that step, you can go ahead and claim that domain here. So I'll select my domain and then finish setup. Hostinger will get to work setting everything up for us and this will only take a minute or two. Okay, now everything is set up. We can go directly to our website by clicking the edit website button here. And here it is, our brand new website. This is where we will build our blog. Now this isn't going to be a full WordPress tutorial, but I will show you around. This is the main dashboard where we will manage our blog. On the left hand side, we have the menu where we can add posts, pages, view comments on our blogs and even add plugins. Let's take a look at each of these. So WordPress has both pages and posts. A page is a static page, like a home page or an about page. A post, on the other hand, is the articles or blog posts that we'll write for the website. So first, let's take a quick look at pages. So on the left hand side, we'll go over to pages. Here we can see a policy page and a sample page. Now yours might look slightly different. You can edit a page just by simply hovering your mouse over and then going quick edit. Here we can do a quick edit to the name and some other bits of information. But to edit the page fully, we need to click the edit button. It will give you a nice wizard and we can close that off. And to be honest, it's quite a straightforward text editor. And we can use the plus icon to add different elements such as images, headers, quotes. And we can even click browse all to bring up the full lists of elements that we can add to this page. To close the page, we'll just go up to the WordPress icon on the top left and back to the view pages screen. Now, if we want to add some new pages, we need to go to the top of the screen here and click add new. Now let's look at posts. So we'll click the posts button on the left hand side. Posts are where the magic happens. Here is where we're going to write all of the content for our blog. So let's create a new post. We'll go add new at the top. Now let's say we've been learning all about the TCP and UDP protocols. 
In my own words, I'd come here and write down all about how TCP and UDP work and their differences. Once we've written our article, we'll want to add a featured image to our post. This is what will be displayed on the website. So we'll go over to Featured Image and select Featured Image. So you can get free images from places like Pixabay or Unsplash or even create your own. Once we've chosen an image, just click to set the feature image. And the last thing we want to do is add a category. Now WordPress uses categories to organize posts into topics. So let's add a new category by going up here and add one for networking. Add new category, select. Now once we've double checked all of our work to make sure it's factually correct, we can then click the publish button at the top of the screen. And to go back to our posts, we just click the button in the top left corner. While we're here, let's go ahead and delete the hello world sample post by hovering over it and clicking the bin button. So after studying and writing posts on everything you've learned, this page should start filling up. And if by magic, we have a few more posts. Now it's time to see our blog in all its glory. To view the website just as the visitor would see it, you click the website name at the top left and that will take us to the website. And here it is, our beautiful blog with all of our posts. Once we've done viewing, all we need to do is click the WordPress icon in the top left corner of the screen. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is the plugins. Plugins allow you to add functionality to your website or blog. Anything from contact forms to fully functioning e-commerce stores. We already have a few installed automatically, but to add more, we go to the add new button at the top. There are literally tens of thousands of plugins to choose from, but there is one I recommend you install right away, and that is called WordFence. WordFence is a security plugin that will help protect your site by adding a firewall, limit login attempts, and allow you to add multi-factor authentication. Once installed, we will need to activate the plugin and you will need to get your WordFence license. Don't worry, it is free. You just need to put in your email address. So we'll go for a free license. And then we have to input our email address. If you have already set this up, you could even use your custom email address from Hostinger. After the activation, you can see all of the settings on the menu. WordFence will take you through some of these screens but make sure you go down to the login security and set up the multi-factor authentication. If you have seen my video on hacking WordPress sites, you will know how important it is to keep everything up to date and secure. When updates are available, you'll see this on the dashboard. Please, please, please make sure you keep everything up to date to keep your blog secure. So there it is, your brand new tech blog that will help you master the topics you're studying, stand out to employers and land that dream job, all for the cost of less than a coffee per month. And remember, go to hostinger.com forward slash surpros and use code surpros10 for even more savings. Now, of course, you can always start a YouTube channel and I definitely recommend you do. However, YouTube comes with a big learning curve, like recording your videos, editing, uploading, all of that good stuff that comes with a YouTube channel. The problem is this will all take time away from your studies. So I definitely recommend you start with a blog first. So good luck with your blogs and I'd love to see what you create. You can either post them in the comments or send them directly to me. And who knows, maybe it will change your life. It did for me. Thank you for watching.